All right, it's new bike day. Focus Whistler. It's a high tower. I've been looking for one for a while and I got one a good deal. Thanks, Lewis. A recycle bicycle. One of the only shops in Adelaide, to my memory, that sells secondhand bikes. There are so many secondhand bikes out there from people that don't use the sport anymore. And it's a great way to get bikes at a good deal. And of course, saves on uh, stuff going to the landfill. Gives everything a second chance. So um, yeah, here's a bike. One thing I just want to talk about in this video is the disappearance of mountain bike two by. Like, where is it all gone? It's literally all gone to like this one by 12 stuff, which I have a massive problem with, and that's called chain line. Now, if you're new to bikes, chain line is where the chain is most efficient when the chain isn't bending in any specific way. So I'll show you. If this, let's say this is your chain line here, right? If your chain is dead straight, like perpendicular at an angle, 90 degrees, like that, it's gonna be most efficient and you're not gonna lose much power. If your chain is like this, which for most of the time, if you're running one by 12 or one by, that's what your chain looks like when you're going up a climb, a steep climb, and your chain, not only does it lose power, but you wear it out so quickly. Like your chain just like wears out and it doesn't, it's not as durable as a two by system down here. Two by is like one of the best things embedded in there because you eliminate that chain line issue because if you're in the smallest spot at the back, you'll be at the smallest at the front. And so your gearing is always gonna be right for your chain line. So to me, this is another bike industry conspiracy where I think people, people that are running the show want planned obsolescence into your bikes, which is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Which is why I love, you know, bikes that are older, you know, they, they, they were built by people that actually love bikes. Bike, bike industry for the last five years up to now has literally been, I think, owned by accountants and bankers and they just want things to just get destroyed and broken as soon as you complete your warranty. Like, it's, it's insane. Not, not just the frames, right? But like the component manufacturers here, like they, they never give a, a, a lifetime warranty on their parts. It's like only one year or two years or something. And then once two years gone, bang, it's gone. It's like BMW and Mercedes. Everything's plastic in their, in their cars and it's like, doesn't last as long. But that's the rant there. Two by is the best. I had a choice of three mountain bikes to buy. They, two of them had one by systems. One of them had a two by system and I bought the two by system because I know like my chain, my cassette, and my chain rings will last so much longer because the chain ring is correct and how it should be. So um, anyways, that's just the first world problem. I'm grateful to have a bike no matter what. And um, super awesome that I've got a focus with for here. Uh, I'll be doing more videos on this one because this one will be getting a rigid carbon fork. So. I've been watching some videos from you Filipino people out there and people from Indonesia. I love your bikes from um, your hardtail mountain bikes with with rigid forks. I absolutely love it. I don't know why people in Australia don't do much of it more. Should do more of it, but I want to get a full rigid fork for this. This bad boy is probably going to be sub 10 kilos. It's going to fly. And I want to love riding it no matter what weather. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.